was really young, I went and joined the military, you know, and during that four years, I think I just, I realized a change because I started out in the Marine Corps and then went over to the Army. I felt like I had found where I, I kind of found my calling in life where I belonged and that's where I wanted to stay. I enjoyed it, you know, and I felt that it was an opportunity for me to give back to something that I felt really strong in my heart. You know, I think, I think patriotism comes in different ways. Um, and I think, I think right now, one of the biggest ways that I see patriotism is not necessarily just putting a flag in your yard. You can do it that way. It's a very, that's a very outward sign of being patriotic and I think it's great, I support it. Um, I think there's other ways, just if you see somebody that needs a helping hand, don't be scared to step in and give them a helping hand. I think that's one of the easiest ways that we can do it. Um, I think right now we're, we live in a time where we have a lot of patriotism around us in so many different ways with a lot of heroes right now. Our teachers, our administrators, our you know hospital staffs from doctors to nurses, our first responders from police to you know firefighters, EMTs, um, and then all of our military throughout the world right now. Um, they're, they're still continuing on and I think that's probably one of the most important things that we can do right now and as a society. You know, the, the flag signifies a lot to me and stuff, you know, it's, I've seen it in some of, some of the most awesome moments flying high in the sky, but I've also seen it laying flat, draping a coffin with someone coming home. Um, so it means, it means the world to me to be able to do things that I do and did underneath the flag. So I'm very appreciative for that opportunity. This is a constant reminder for me every day when I come home to think about all those all those memories and stuff that I have from being away from my family and overseas and for a way to remember all of those that we've lost, you know, and it's, it's a way to pay tribute to them. And it's also a way to pay tribute to those that are, you know, coming in the future and stuff that are gonna go and, and go overseas and be away from their families and everything else. It's a way to say thank you to them. When we moved in here, I found out that I've got another veteran here living right next door to me that it's my understanding that they help out a lot of other veterans that are coming back from deployments and you know and everything else. So we talked about it as a family and thought that this would be a good spot for it here because now as veterans are coming over to see them, they also get to see that and hopefully that'll kind of help bring a little bit of peace and enjoyment to them as well. Thank you to, to Colonial Flag, to yourself, to your whole staff. And, uh, you know, especially to my family, my wife, my daughter, and you know, and to the rest of my family that actually, to me, those are the true heroes because they're the ones that allowed me to go overseas and still kept everything going here so I never had to worry about anything back here. It was just doing my job and I, I can never say thank you enough to them and you know, to the family that stepped in, my family down in Texas and, and here. It's, uh, it's, I appreciate that there's so many deserving veterans out there. I, you know, I still don't, don't really understand why I'm, I'm the one that has it, I appreciate it, but it's, it's one of those things where there's so many out there that deserve it, so I, I do appreciate it and thank oh. you.